okay so regarding hemophilia basically you might have heard about hemophilia it's a clotting disorder so while studying about the um, uh, different type of the clotting factors we have studied about one factor called anti hemophilic factor it is a clotting factor or a clotting protein so if that protein is absent in your blood that will be resulting in a situation in which your blood will not be clotting when there is some kind of bruise or injury if there is any injury or cut on your hand or any part of your body the blood will be continuously coming normally after 5 to 10 minutes the blood will be clotting but if hemophilia is the the blood will that ability of the blood to make blood clot will be will not be will not be occurring and basically and this is a genetic disorder here you can see it is a inherited genetic disorder and and because of that it is uh, uh, passing from one family to another during the time of reproduction so there is, and sometimes it is quite common in the royal family of britain and because of that it is sometimes known as uh, uh, royal uh, uh, disease, royal disease because it is uh, common among the members of the british royal family and that is why it is known as a royal disease now there are two types of he main types of hemophilia one is hemophilia a in the case of hemophilia a low amounts of clotting factor 8 here you can see that the clotting factor 8 will be present that is a insufficient amount of clotting factor 8 will be present now another is the hemophilia b where the clotting factor uh, uh, 9 will be present in a lower amount so that is the two types of hemophilia one is hemophilia a and hemophilia b in case of hemophilia a clotting factor 8 will be present in a insufficient amount and uh, in case of hemophilia b clotting factor 9 will be present in insufficient amount and usually this is transmitted from one parents to the parents to the children now this is also called an x chromosome x chromosome disease you know that there are two types of sex chromosome one is y chromosome other is x chromosome and some of the genes are present in x chromosome and some of the genes may be present in y chromosome so if a gene is present in x chromosome it is called x chromosome linked or sex linked diseases so that is how we are normally calling and hemophilia gene the gene responsible for the formation of this clotting factor 8 as well as clotting factor 9 are present in the x chromosome chromosome so when x chromosome is passing from one member to another one parents to their children it will be uh, it will be carried to their children here you can see this is a x linked disease here you can find that this is the unaffected father so normally you might have seen uh, heard that the the chromosome combination of a father will be x and y and the chromosome will be x and x so the mother will be carrying two copies of x father will be carrying only one copy of x now here there is a hypothetical situation in which the mother is carrier that means when mother has to be a carrier both x chromosome there are one two pair of x chromosome will be the here here you can see that there is one x and other x both should carry the gene for hemophilia only then mother can be hemophilia positive otherwise she will not be showing any symptom so in the case of here the uh, one x chromosome is infected is having the hemophilia gene other is not having the hemophilia uh, gene so the and because of that mother will not be showing any signs or symptoms of hemophilia but she is carrying the gene for hemophilia she uh, she may not be having any problem of the hemophilia because that gene is not able to express so in a woman if the gene has to express 
two copies of gene. This, this gene has to be present in two copies. But here only one copy. This copy here it is missing. The white one it is missing. So this is the only one copy of X is present. So the mother is having a copy of X. Now what happens if they are having a children with a normal father? This father, the, this is, uh, this, uh, the X is not having any hemophilia. Here the mother is having a hemophilia G. And there are four combinate possibilities. One is an un, uh, unaffected son, carrier doctor, affected son and unaffected daughter. So during a combination what happens is that if this X, this uh, unaffected X chromosome and this X is uh, uh, being uh, matching together that will be resulting in a what is called uh, uh, unaffected, the, the, for example this X from father, this is a normal X from father and uh, here from mother also an, a, a normal uh, X is uh, this uh, normal X, this X is coming here you can see that that will result in a combination of X and Y and the son will be unaffected that is unaffected means she, he won't be carrying he won't be having any problem of hemophilia that is why this white dot is showing here now the second one is a carrier daughter carrier daughter means she has one copy of normal X chromosome Another copy, this uh, blue line here shows that it is a hemophilia gene. So second is having a hemophilia gene. And and I will enlarge this picture. Okay, here you can see that this is the uh, normal gene and this is the affected gene. Okay, here the, uh, the, the this is the daughter and daughter is carrying two X chromosome. One is a normal X chromosome, other is a carrier X chromosome. Okay, then uh, so the uh, we uh, one of the daughter may be a carrier doctor. Then another possibility is that this X chromosome from women, or uh, use X chromosome from mother, and this Y chromosome from father may be matching together, and as a result, the son formed will be having a hemophilia. So that is why affected son. Okay. Then another possibility is unaffected, unaffected daughter. That is normal X chromosome and normal uh, X chromosome from father are matching together, resulting in to a combination of two unaffected S. So that the daughter formed will be not having any disease. So these are the four possibilities, and and that is why we are calling it as a X-linked. Uh, X linked disease or X, X linked disease or sometimes called a sex linked disease and the importance is that this hemophilia is a recessive gene you might have heard about in plus two classes about the dominant gene and recessive gene some genes uh, may be expressing uh, in a, a, a expressing in the only if two copies are present then it is called a recessive gene some genes can express only one copy is present that is known as a dominant gene so in this of hemophilia it is a recessive gene now what is the other possibility this is the affected father and this is the unaffected mother then in in such a case the uh, the possibility is that the son will be unaffected always uh, then uh, uh, the carrier uh, sometimes a daughter formed may be a carrier because one X will be coming from father then other is the unaffected son and other is a carrier daughter so these are the two different possibilities that we can find uh, in the case of a excellent hemophilia and uh, because of this uh, this is considered as a genetic disease and nowadays we have some amount of uh, some treatment opportunities are there now how hemophilia is not normally diagnosed because by checking for the presence of this clotting factor that is how we are checking in the hemophilia then uh, uh, for example uh, how the, the these are the two different type of tests that we are using in the case of hemophilia then how the uh, there is no life Term, uh, long term cure for hemophilia actually when a hemophilia is there 
normally what the doctors are giving is that they will be giving a uh, injection containing the clotting factor and that clotting factor will be see here you can see that desmopressin may be used with, with the mild hemophilia these are some of the drugs which are available for hemophilic patient nowadays with proper treatment hemophilia is not a major problem okay it can be manageable but one thing that is important is that we have to make sure that unnecessary cut and bruises are not taking place so but even if there is some kind of injury injury or um, you know blood um, uh, you know you know what is called uh, bleeding of uh, bleeding from your body by due to some injury by giving some clotting factor injection we can control the hemophilia so this is an idea regarding the hemophilia and uh, this is very detailed say here you can in the european ro royal family see the queen victoria passed the mutation of hemophilia b to her son and almost all the uh, members after that is having this uh, disease that is why it is known as a uh, royal disease okay now the different possibilities are being tried even gene therapy is also exp explored but for you you don't need to go into the detail just understand what is hemophilia what are the two types of hemophilia and how the hemophilia is transmitted